Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am here to tell you how I did on my buzzword a thon reading challenges for 2022 and then to tell you what I'm planning to read for 2023. So in 2022, I originally was looking at my physical TBR and choosing books based off of that. And then my over at Bookworm Dreams challenged me to do a sci-fi version. So I have two lists and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the month, what the prompt was, the books I chose, and whether or not I read them. I think that's the easiest way to do this. So for 2022, January, the five W's, which are the question words. From my physical TBR, I had I Love It When You Talk Retro by Ralph Keys, and I started this one, but I never finished. And for my sci-fi, I had And What Can We Offer You Tonight by Premi Mohammed. I did read this one, and I liked it fairly well. And apparently a lot of other people did too, because it got nominated for awards. For February, it was pronouns or possessive words. And for my physical TBR, I chose You Were Made For This by Michelle Sachs, which was an arc that I got a long time ago. And I DNF'd this one. It turned out it just wasn't for me. The writing style, subject matter, was not something I am interested in reading. And for my sci-fi version, I did You Sexy Thing by Kat Rambo. And I enjoyed this one. I don't think this one is for everyone, but I had a lot of fun with it and it is very much a space opera and deals a lot with food at the same time. For March locations, I chose The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson, which I did not read. And for my sci-fi version, I chose City of Shattered Light by Claire Wynn, which I also did not read. For April, we had size words like big and little. And for my physical TBR, I chose Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, and I didn't read it. And for my sci-fi version, I chose The Quantum Magician by Derek Kuntzkin, and I, I didn't read it as well. But this one was different because I wasn't able to get it in from my library. For some reason, it, in our library alone, just never showed up. For May, the prompt was directions, and I didn't have anything in my physical TBR. Ends up, my May prompt uh, was the same as my sci-fi prompt, and it was Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson, and I did not read it. For June, we had the word all, and for my physical TBR, I chose All the Tides of Fate by Adeline Grace, which is number two in her young adult series, and I didn't read it. And for my sci-fi version, I chose The All-Consuming World by Cassandra Koth, and I did read it. This is another space opera that is messy and is not for everyone, but I ended up enjoying it. This has a lot of toxic characters, so definitely look for trigger warnings before you decide to pick up this one. In July, I chose book-related words, and for my physical TBR, I had The Book of Genevieve by Mark Boyd, and I didn't read it. And for my sci-fi version, I had The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. I did read it and loved it. In fact, I'm enjoying myself very much with this, this book series. For August, I, the prompt was items. And I for my physical TBR, I chose The Time Machine by H.G. Wells and then didn't read it. For my sci-fi version, I chose Fortuna by Kristen Meribeth. And I ended up DNFing this one. This one was another one that just didn't work for me. On paper, it looked like it would because I like space opera, but then the execution, just, I bounced. It happens. For September, the words were light or dark, and I chose The Dark Wind by Tony Hillerman. And I know this is like number five in his series, and I haven't read any of them. And then my library only had the first book on ebook, and that's not a great way for me to read. <laughs> so not library books anyway. And so I never read the first one and never picked up this one. For my sci-fi book, I chose First Light by Casey E. Berger and I picked it up and then never finished it. Actually, I recently had to return it because I had had it for four months. 
this is something that I do want to continue on in the future. It just, at the time I got it, I never carved out the time to actually read it. That, so that is 100% on me. Then for October, we have Creatures and Animals. And for this one, I for my physical TBR, I chose Bring Me a Unicorn by Anne Morrow Lindbergh. And I started it, and I'm enjoying it. I just haven't finished it. So then for my sci-fi prompt, I chose Fox Hunt by Rim Wigmore, and I ended up DNFing. This is just another one that as I'm reading it, I couldn't get into it. Again, the world building like sounds exactly up my alley. It's like a futuristic post-climate change, but the main character is was not someone I believed in. I think they were supposed to be unlikable, and I think at this time I just was looking for s characters I could connect with. For November, you had to have Ing, I-N-G, and I chose Digging for Richard III by Mike Pitts, which was my goal to finish it, because I have started it in 2021, and I didn't pick it up at all. For my sci-fi version, I chose Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and I didn't get the book until last week. So I do want to read it. I just didn't get it in time to read it in November or even in 2022. And then for December, the prompt was numbers. And I chose off of my physical TBR, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and then didn't read it. And then for my sci-fi prompt, I chose Five Minds by Guy Morpus. And when I asked my library to get it, they told me it hadn't been published, even though Goodreads said it had been published in 2021. So I didn't read it. I didn't read anything with the number, even though I had technically picked up some other things that could have worked to kind of like hair of the ninth. So I just, I fizzled out. Out of 24 books, I attempted five of them, three of which I have DNF'd, two I will finish at some point, and then I actually finished four of them. And looking at my list, I realized that all the books that I really actually continued or making a priority were the sci-fi prompts. I have a favorite type of book. If, <laughs> if you're not new to this channel, you already knew that. Now onto the books I've chosen for my Buzzword 2023 prompt. For January, the prompts are life or death. And, oh, I guess I forgot to say it. I have still tried my hardest to keep the sci-fi because I had a lot of fun. However, after looking at the prompts, I talked about this with Maya and we were both were like, oh, this is really a better like paranormal fantasy like prompt vibes, but I still did my best to do sci-fi. So for January, I've chosen An Unnatural Life by Aaron Wagner. Fun fact, this was actually my second choice because the first choice my library couldn't get. So I had to try something else, but I am excited to read this. And this is off of my massive TBR. For February, the prompt is verbs or action words. And I have chosen Where It Rains in Color by Denise Crittenden. And my action verb is rains. For March, the prompt is the word secret. And I have The Secret Chapter by Genevieve Cogman. I have one book before that I need to finish reading and then in March, I will be ready to pick up that because I know I'm reading the series. And I figured that if I have read that book before I get to there, my plan then is to pick up Secrets of the Dragon Tomb by Patrick Samphir. So yeah, on some of these, I have some backups. Though, you know, they might be more fantasy than sci-fi. Like, this was hard. For April, the prompt is Emotions, and I have The Alchemy of Sorrows by M.L. Wing. For May, the prompt is flavors or seasonings, herbs, and I have chosen Bitter Blood by Zara Hoffman, which is number two in her sci-fi romance series, so I still have to read number one first. For June, the prompt is the word other, and I have chosen The Art of Space Travel and Other Stories, which is permissible according to the Lala for what you can do. And this is by Nina Allen. For July, the prompt is weather, and I have The Ice Lion by Kathleen O'Neill Gear. August is body parts, and I have Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ning. September are game-related words, and I have Capture the Sun by Jesse Mihalik. Though this comes out in May, and I might not want to wait 
and tell September to read it. October is the word magic, or it was stretched to other words relating to that. But Lala really wants us to actually have the word magic. So this one was hard. For a sci-fi, it was hard to find. And I think this is more like a sci-fi fantasy, similar to the Genevieve Cogman series. And it's called City of Broken Magic by Mira Bolander. And reading some reviews of people, they did say that technology is a big deal in this, which I'm going to go technology, science. November is the word good, and I have chosen Goodbye to the Sun by Jonathan Nevere. And for December is sound-related words. I originally had Nebula Vibrations by Annie Carl, and I've already read that this year, so that's not going to happen in December. <laughs> I guess I could do a reread. Nah, we'll go with a new book. So I tentatively have The Ballad of Perilous Graves by Alex Jennings. Figured ballad is a sound word to me. It's a form of music. That is my current Buzz Read Wordathon list. Are you participating this year? And if you are, what books have you chosen? Are you trying to do a theme like all sci-fi or all paranormal uh, fantasy? Or you're just going whatever fits? I'd love to hear down below. Thank you and have a great day.